Go. Hello, this is Clarissa Sorensen Unruh, and I'm uh, doing an IR today. So we're doing a demonstration for an IR. This is the IR. It's a lovely machine. We're going to use these polyethylene cards, and we're going to uh, use ethanol today. To do the machine, we're going to put some ethanol onto the card, and then we're going to put it in right there between where it goes. Okay. Also, this is the computer that we're going to use. It should be on before you start. We're going to double click on the Omnic to make sure that it's ready to go. And the very first thing you always do when you're doing this is you close the lid and you run a background. To collect the background sample, you can hit collect background, which is pretty cool. And then it says, please prepare to collect the background spectrum. And you say, OK. Now, this bottom part right here is where it's saying how many scans it's doing. And we have it set to do 16 scans. So you have to wait for that to be done before you do anything else. OK. Since there's a nice little seat here, I'm going to go ahead and sit in it. Woo! And see if we can work it this way. All right. Rolling chair of joyousness. All right, so once the data collection is stopped, you can say add to window. We want to add that to the window. So yes, we want to do that. OK. Now I want to do my sample. So the way I do this is I'm going to take one of these, and I'm going to put my sample, since it's a liquid, I'm going to put my sample right on here. And then I'm going to put it into the scanner. So this is the easiest way to do this. This is a little bit of ethanol. And I put it straight on. Just a few dots. If you get too many, like I probably just did, you can go come over and grab a Kim wipe and wipe it off. Woo, actually that's looking pretty good. It's not important that the sample card is entirely inundated, but it's nice if it is. And so now I'm going to take my sample, and you'll notice that there are there are nice little lines right here where it says put that in. I'm going to put them right between those nice little lines, and then I'm going to come back over here, and I'm going to hit collect sample, and then you enter a name. We're going to call this ethanol one. And you please pre prepare, you hit OK. And then you'll see that it's saying collecting, and the, the scans are running. And then you'll notice that it's giving you some peaks. We're, this is ethanol, so we would expect a nice alcohol peak to be running in the midst of this. And then once you have your sample complete, you're col you've collected your sample, you can see that it collected your sample, you could view that, but you could also add it to the window. Yay, we added it to the window and it added so beautifully. And then we can go to um, where we could say find peaks. And if we want to find the peaks, we just hit the find peaks moment. And it sets our threshold at 50, uh, 50%, that's the sensitivity. But I want to get this peak down here. So I just bring that threshold, I just click on it, and I set it low so that I get all kinds of peaks found. That's awesome. Look at all those peaks that I just found. And then we're going to add that to our uh, spectrum. We can either replace the original spectrum, or we can add it to the spectrum. I think I'm going to actually replace it. I like the replacing of the spectrum. OK. And now I have all of my peaks labeled, and I have the background. If you don't want that background anymore, and you're like, I don't like that anymore, then you could just click on it. You click on the spectrum, and you can clear it off. And you can have just your beautiful spectrum. And there's a nice alcohol peak. And we have some ethanol, uh, the ethane part of the peaks we're seeing in the, the 2900s, 2800s here. OK, and then we have the fingerprint region at the bottom, which is kind of fun as well. All right, and that's how you collect an IR spectra. Until next time, bye.